Welcome to the journey of a lifetime, a journey that takes us through the pulsating heart of Israel. Immerse yourself in the diverse tapestry that is Israel, a land where ancient history and modern innovation intermingle in a captivating dance of contrast. This is a place where time-honored traditions echo amidst the bustle of contemporary life, where the old and the new coexist in a harmony that is as unique as it is intriguing. Israel, a name that resonates with stories of civilization's past, with echoes of footsteps that have tread its soil for thousands of years, from the ancient pharaohs to the Romans, from the Crusaders to the Ottomans, and now to a vibrant nation that stands strong in the heart of the Middle East. This is the land that has been the cradle of Abrahamic religions, a beacon of faith and a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. This journey we're embarking on is not just about the places we'll see, but also about the people we'll meet. The people of Israel, a melting pot of cultures and backgrounds, each with a unique story to tell, from the bustling markets of Jerusalem to the serene landscapes of Galilee, from the modern cityscape of Tel Aviv to the timeless beauty of the Negev Desert. The heartbeat of Israel is in its people. Their laughter, their tears, their hopes and their dreams all contribute to the symphony that is the Israeli experience. The narrative of Israel is a symphony of emotions, a melody that changes from one person to the next, from one neighborhood to the next, each individual, each community, adding a unique note to this symphony. And it is this symphony that we are about to explore. We'll listen to their stories, share in their joys and sorrows, and understand the emotions that make up the fabric of this fascinating nation. Are you ready to meet the people that make Israel the vibrant nation it is? Let's dive in. Our journey begins in the ancient city of Jerusalem, where history and modernity coexist. As we delve deeper into this city, we meet Samuel, a humble shopkeeper in the old city. His shop, a tiny corner of the world brimming with knickknacks and curiosities, has been in his family for four generations. Every morning, Samuel unlocks the doors of this treasure trove, feeling the weight of the ancient key in his hand as a tangible link to his ancestors. Samuel's love for Jerusalem is palpable. He speaks of the city with a kind of reverence, his eyes lighting up as he describes the sunrise over the ancient walls, the echoing call to prayer and the vibrant markets that bring the city to life every day. He finds comfort in the city's rhythm, a symphony of sounds that has been the backdrop of his life, a melody that weaves itself into the fabric of his being. For Samuel, Jerusalem is more than a city, it's a living, breathing entity. He talks about walking the same cobbled streets that his forefathers did under the same golden sunlight that has kissed the city's stones for millennia. The history here is not confined to the pages of textbooks. It's etched into the walls. It's in the air. It's a part of him. His emotional connection to the city is profound. He tells us about his childhood, about learning to barter in the bustling souks, about his first taste of sweet, sticky baklava from a street vendor. These memories are not just his. They're a part of Jerusalem's tapestry threads in a story that spans centuries. As the sun sets and the city bathes in a warm golden glow, Samuel closes his shop, his day coming full circle. He looks out at the city he calls home, a place where past and present intertwine, where every stone has a story to tell. In the heart of Jerusalem, history isn't just something you learn about, it's something you live. From the historic streets of Jerusalem, we move to the bustling city of Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv, a city that never sleeps, a city that pulses with energy and life. A young woman, let's call her Miriam, found herself drawn to this city from her small town. Thrust into the captivating whirlwind of Tel Aviv, Miriam initially grappled with the city's pace, its sounds, its rhythm. The city was a symphony she was yet to understand, a dance she was yet to learn. But as time passed, Miriam began to attune herself to Tel Aviv's heartbeat. She felt the city's energy coursing through her veins, the same energy that fueled the city's vibrant nightlife, its bustling markets, its thriving art scene. She discovered the city's cafes where ideas were born and dreams were shared over cups of steaming coffee. She fell in love with the city's beaches where the golden sand met the azure Mediterranean in an eternal embrace. Yet it wasn't just the city's physical allure that captivated her, it was the city's spirit that truly resonated with Miriam, the spirit of resilience, of innovation, of embracing diversity. She found her identity in this city that welcomed people from all walks of life, this city that celebrated differences, this city that was a melting pot of cultures. 
She found herself in the city's stories, stories of dreams chased and conquered, stories of love and loss, stories of struggle and triumph. Her love for Tel Aviv grew with every sunrise she saw from her apartment window, with every sunset she watched from the city's beaches. It was in Tel Aviv that Miriam found her rhythm, her voice, her identity. The city molded her, shaped her, and in turn, she became a part of the city's fabric, a part of its ever-evolving story. And so Miriam's journey in Tel Aviv became a testament to the city's allure, its vibrancy, its spirit. Her story is but one amongst many, each one adding a unique hue to the city's vibrant canvas. In Tel Aviv, every day is another page in a vibrant, ever-evolving story. Leaving the city's hustle and bustle, we journey to the serene landscapes of Galilee, a place where the verdant hills roll gently under the cloudless skies, cradling a story in their bosom, a story of a man and his land. Meet Yitzhak, a humble farmer who has spent his entire life under the soothing shadows of the Galilean hills. His hands, weathered and strong, have worked this land since he was a young boy. The soil, the olive trees, the vineyards, they are not just a source of livelihood for Yitzhak, but a part of his soul, his identity. Every morning as the sun peaks over the hills, Yitzhak steps out onto his land. The dew-kissed earth beneath his feet, the rustling leaves whispering age-old secrets, the fragrant air filled with the promise of a new day. This is his symphony, his rhythm of life. The land, Yitzhak often says, is a wise teacher. It has taught him about the seasons of life, about the patience needed to wait for the right time to sow and the right time to reap. It has shown him how to weather the storms and bask in the sunshine. Yitzhak's relationship with Galilee is not a mere transaction of efforts for sustenance. It's a dance, a dialogue, a relationship that transcends the limitations of language. It's an emotional bond, a silent agreement of nurturing and being nurtured. As the day folds into night, Yitzhak takes one last look at his land. The setting sun paints the sky with hues of crimson and gold, casting long shadows over the fields. It's a sight that never fails to fill his heart with a sense of peace and fulfillment. In this quiet corner of the world, Yitzhak has found his purpose, his place of belonging. His story is a testament to the profound connection that can exist between a man and his land, a connection that is as enduring as the hills of Galilee themselves. In the quiet fields of Galilee, the land speaks to those who listen. From the ancient city of Jerusalem to the vibrant Tel Aviv, from the serene Galilee to the diverse people, our journey through Israel has been a journey through emotions. As we traveled through the narrow lanes of Jerusalem, we felt the pulse of history and faith. We experienced the silent prayers at the Western Wall, the solemnity of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and the quiet reverence at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Each stone, each corner, whispered stories of the past, echoing the sentiments of countless pilgrims who've journeyed here before us. In contrast, Tel Aviv pulsed with life and energy. The city's vibrant nightlife, bustling markets and modern skyscrapers reflected the spirit of a people who are passionately embracing the future. Here we encountered a youthful exuberance, a zest for life that was infectious and a spirit of innovation that was awe-inspiring. Our journey led us to Galilee, a place of tranquility amidst the hustle and bustle. The serene landscapes, the calm waters, and the peaceful rural communities evoked a sense of peace and contentment. Here we found a people deeply connected to their land, living a life of simplicity and harmony with nature. But what truly made our journey through Israel emotional were the people. Their stories, their lives, their dreams, and their struggles painted a vivid picture of Israel. From the resilient shopkeeper in Jerusalem to the innovative tech entrepreneur in Tel Aviv, from the humble farmer in Galilee to the passionate artist in Haifa, each individual left an indelible mark on our hearts. Every emotion we felt, every story we heard, deepened our connection with this land. We saw a country that was diverse yet unified, modern yet traditional, bustling yet peaceful. We saw a people who were deeply rooted in their past, yet eagerly looking towards the future. Israel, a land of contrast and diversity, is not just a place, but an emotion, an experience that stays with you. Long after the journey ends, 